Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. Now in this lesson we'll be adding a pipe, just like how it, how there is a pipe in the real Flappy Bird. So going into the game resources folder, you'll see this little pipe right here. What I want you to do is I want you to add it inside the scene view, inside your game. And let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger by 5 times its size. On the 5, 5 on the X, 5 on the Y, and 5 on the Z. Now we'll add it here. Duplicate this, add another one over here, and rotate it 180 degrees on the z-axis. Perfect. Now let's make it something like this. Alright, this looks pretty good. Something like this is pretty good. Now I'll create an empty game object, I'll call it pipes, and I'll put it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these two pipes and I'm going to make them one singular pipe. I am going to add a box collider to this pipe, box collider, and another to this pipe, box collider. And now I'm going to add another box collider here. Now you'll ask why. The thing is, is that we want this area, so whenever our little birdie uh, collides with this area, we want him to go through it, we don't want him to collide and stop, we want him to actually go through it, and we want a single point to be counted in the text. So we'll be adding a pointer right here, or not a pointer, a score right here. So whenever our bird goes through this, this little place right here, this little place between these two pipes, we want a single point to be added to the score. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this one a bit bigger, like the difference between them just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to add a little bit here. All right, perfect. Now let's select all of the pipes. I'm going to tag it as pipe, pipe, score. I'm going to select this. I'm going to tag this as pipe score. But I'm going to tag the, all the other pipes as just pipe. Pipe. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to tag them. So maybe you'll be asking, what is a tag really? So basically a tag is a way to differentiate between two single game objects. So maybe this game object is pipe, this game object could be tagged as cloud. Or for example, whatever tag we want. So whenever we collide with the this little option right here whenever we collide with the single game object that we want to collide with uh, we want something to happen or maybe it's not just a collision maybe it's something else but a tag is a way to differentiate between two game objects so yeah this pipe i'm gonna click on something the w i'm gonna click on w and i'm gonna move it around i'm gonna make it something like this And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here. All right, this looks pretty good. I guess it's a bit big. Maybe just make it a bit smaller. Maybe 4.5 and select these two sides. Yeah, I guess this looks way better. All right. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we can do two things. We can either make the list, this little bird move every time and make and just re-simulate this every time he moves. So whenever he moves, he'll be out of camera and we want the camera to spawn to the place where he's moving. And then we have to spawn these all over again to wherever he's moving and spawn these and delete the old ones for, well, processing. Or what we could do is we could just move this and make it like a little trick. We could just move this left to the left direction and make the player think that he's actually moving forward when in actuality this little game object, the pipes are actually moving towards him. Now that's what I'm going to be doing because it's way easier. Like you're not just copying all of them all over again. You're just reusing one little material, one little game object, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pipes and I'm going to create a 
new script. I'm going to call it pipes. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to select the pipes script. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in transform.translate and I'm going to make it vector 2 dot left times how much I'm going to make it 5 or you know what I'm going to make a variable a public float variable I'm going to call it speed and I'm going to add it right here so we can edit it in the editor in the unity editor point 1 yeah point 1 is pretty good cool now uh, when it moves we want two things to happen first of all when it finishes this loop we want it to delete itself right here why because of CPU issues so imagine if there are like hundreds of them spawning and they're still here but out of the camera bounce so we don't see them but they're still here in our game world imagine how hard and taxing that will be on the CPU so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a box collider 2d right here and we're gonna expand it. You know what? Expand it on all sides. Expand, expand it right here too. And I'm gonna move it to something right. So whenever it moves all the way here, we want it to delete. And we're gonna tag this as end pipe, which isn't really a creative name, but it'll do. End pipe. And we're gonna call this delete pipe all right so we're gonna select the pipes we're gonna go inside the pipes and I forgot to do something delete pipe set it as is trigger all right so on trigger enter 2d if collision so whenever it gets triggered with something dot uh, dot game object dot tag equals equals What's it called again? End pipe. So we want to type it exactly how it is. End pipe. Then what we want to do is we want to destroy game object. So basically delete this game object. All right, cool. So that's one thing done. The other thing we want to do. That's one thing done. The other thing we want to do is we want to we want to spawn. We want to create this as a prefab and spawn it right here. So we're going to create this as a prefab, put it right here, control, control S to save. So it's basically a prefab, we can reuse it as much as we want right now. We're going to add a simple script, this will be delete pipe. We're going to add a simple script that adds pipe. So we're going to call it add pipe and we're going to put an underscore just as a script, just to tell that it's like a script. And we're going to call it spawn pipe spawner. Spawner. We're going to add a public game object. And we're going to call it pipe. So first of all, we're going to... We're going to add a timer later on. So whenever uh, a specific amount of time passes, we want to spawn it. But right now, we're just going to spawn it one time. The next lesson, we're going to learn how to do that. So instantiate pipe in the transform.position and transform.rotation. Perfect. So instantiate is a, is a method that takes in the uh, game object that you want to spawn in. It's basically a method to spawn something in. So it takes in three things, three values. The first thing is the game object, what you want to spawn. The second thing is the position where you want to spawn it in. And the third thing is where do you, at what rotation you want to spawn it. So I just added them as transform.position. So the, uh, th the pipe spawner's position and the pipe spawner's rotation. So it's basically zero. It won't be affected by rotation and position. Going to go back. And we're going to put the spawner all the way here. All right, now if we add a pipe here and delete this old pipe. 
uh, where is it? Yeah, it's right here. So if we add one right here, and we play the game just to test it out if it works, we're gonna test out two things: if it deletes and if it spawns. All right, so it actually. Wait a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to freeze it to X and Y. It won't be affected because we're in play mode. But I'm just gonna see if this works or not. It did not work for some odd reason. I forgot to add one thing which is the rigid body 2D and the thing is when I add a rigid body 2D it's actually uh, I'm gonna go to the actual prefab and add the rigid body 2D when you add the rigid body 2D it's actually gonna fall down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze the, posi the position on the Y axis and freeze the rotation on the Z axis I'm going to set the gravity scale to zero and I'm going to keep the mass. That's it. I'm going to go inside the script and I'm going to change this from transform.translate to first of all I'm going to get the rigid body 2D RB and I'm going to get RB equals get component rigid body 2D Perfect. Now instead of this, I'm going to add RB dot velocity equals vector two dot left times speed. Now that's awesome. I'm going to change the speed to five again. And I'm going to exit pipes. I think that's it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this pipe. I'm gonna re add it again just to see. Yeah, it added. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add pipes and add the pipes. Perfect. The delete pipe option, I'm gonna set it to as trigger. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. And I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna close it. Now, if we start again, oh yeah, it didn't go through here. So, what we could do. To counteract this is we should go to we go to the ground and select these two grounds we're gonna add a layer to them and we're gonna call them ground we're gonna go to pipes and we're gonna add a layer to the pipes and we're gonna call the pipes pipe as a layer so layering is just the same as tagging something basically so now if we go to pipes, we're going to add pipes. Yes, change the children. I'm going to select all the ground and I'm going to change the tag to ground. Yes, change the children. Now select the pipes again. Pipe, perfect. Now what we're going to do to fix this problem is we're going to go to project settings. I'm going to go to physics 2D. And we're going to disable the physics, the uh, layer collision from the pipe and the ground perfect now we're gonna close it and we're gonna start again all right awesome it just goes through here and then it deletes automatically as we saw right here I just I just saw it in the hierarchy I'm just gonna take this little item I'm gonna freeze the position now let's see on the scene it goes through here then it deletes. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to delete the bird just a bit. And I'm going to play. I'm going to see if the pipe deletes. Awesome. It deletes whenever it goes through here. Perfect. Now I'm just going to go control Z. 
to re-add my player. All right, awesome. So basically that was it for this lesson. We just added the simple pipes and we added the fact that whenever we go through the pipes, now if we go through the pipes from now, if we touch the actual pipes, we restart the game. But if we go through the pipe, we don't restart the game. Let's try it. Perfect, we didn't restart. Now, if I just fall down and restart the game, and I touch the pipes accidentally. Alright, I restarted the game. Perfect. So that was basically it. In the next lesson, I'm going to try and change the pipes location, or the pipes position, every time we go down or it goes up. Alright, so that was basically it for this lesson. I will see you in the next one.